All right, guys, so here's the bench test for the rotor. Uh, this is the Cushcraft MA5B uh, mounted on the rotor. Uh, you can still see it's bending, how it's bending right here. Uh, I am going to check the traps. I'm going to take them apart tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to let it sit overnight like this and see how it looks in the morning. But we'll come over here. Some lessons learned. Uh, so this is 240 feet of cable. Uh, they sent me uh, six number 18s with two number 16s, eight cables all together. They actually should have sent me uh, six number 16s and two number 14s. Um, but because it's over 200 feet, you should go up. Um, that's my fault. I should have caught that. I thought they would have caught it, but it's both our faults. But it worked uh, fine. I checked the voltages. Uh, everything seems to be working fine on it. So I don't have any issues with it. So here we go. We're going to rotate it. So this is, I bought this this morning. It's just screwed into the workbench. Um, it does do a lot of torque, so when I do put this in, I know I'm going to really torque down on this. Uh, another lesson learned from me was, uh, I torqued this by hand today. These are the bolts, the U-bolts that came with it. So, uh, the appropriate setting for this is five foot pounds maybe six foot pounds, anything more than that, you're gonna be chasing you bolts all day like I did. So I'll back up, I'll hit just rotate on this. This is uh, the controller right here. It's gonna hit rotate. And then I'll back up, and let you see it. So it does play a little bit. Um, I mean, that's expected. We'll hit it again and go back. Um, I really don't know what these bolts are for. Uh, they came with it. I put this extra nut on there and uh, I'll probably run this nut down. I'll tighten this down hard as I can once I get it up there. And then I'll probably ground, put a ground lug and then tighten this back down over the ground lug and run it down to a ground. Same thing up here. Uh, I'm just gonna have to loop it real big, uh, especially with the coax. Uh, because if you do hit rotate, this thing will uh, this thing will wrap your coax. So I like that function. You saw it go one way and then go the other way, and that's to keep your bearings. Uh, it's a really good function. And this is still on inch and a half. Schedule 40 galvanized. I put the uh, grip tape down here in two strips. So this would have pull of metal on metal contact. But when I did an ohm reading from the top of this, from the antenna to the bottom of the pole, um, I'm still reading ohm, so it's still connecting. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna ground it or not. But uh, I'll show you guys.
This is the test portion of the Cushcraft MA5B. If y'all have any suggestions or if I did something that doesn't look right, let me know. These are the traps I was talking about in the last video. They need to be facing down. Thank you.